Hello and welcome to this daily upload. In today's video, I'll be suggesting an idea to the people that don't know much about selling buying items on the community market in Steam. Let's say you have 5 bucks on your Steam account and you really want to buy two games, but you can't afford both of them. So what do you do? Well, it's easy. You can flip items on the community marketplace to slowly but consistently increase your wallet value to then buy the games that you wanted in the first place and still have another 5 bucks lying around in your Steam wallet. So let me show you some examples of how this works, how you can find items to flip on the market. First thing first, you have to log into Steam in the browser. It is a hundred times simpler to use the marketplace in the browser than it is in the Steam app on the computer or mobile. Oh, and also, you have to have the Steam Guard enabled for at least 15 days to be able to trade on the market in the first place. The number one rule of flipping. Whenever you open any item, you have to calculate if it is profitable. So, how do you do that? You take the price of the highest buy order, then add 0.01 because you have to place your buy order above them, and then multiply by 1.15. The number that you get is the minimal price that you have to sell for in order to profit. So in this case we would have to buy for 0.18 and multiply it by that by 1.15 we get 0.20. We have to sell for at least 0.20 in order to break even. We have to sell for 0.21 in order to make 1 cent. So in this case it doesn't make sense to buy it for 18 because we would not make a profit. Let's do some actual examples. I already know that some items from the Dota 2 Halo Chest of the Dire Tide are profitable for flipping. I actually did an entire 40 minute long video, link in description, on buying and selling items from this chest. Right now we're only going to see if we can find a couple of profitable ones. For example Arena Champion. This one goes for 508 on the buy order, we take that number, we put 509 and we multiply by 1.15, we had 585, meaning that we can make about 50 cent from selling this item and we can flip it quite fast. Next item, Bindings of the Spiteful Gin. We can get it for 188, we have to sell it for 216, means we can make almost 20 cent off of it. This item, Black Ship Protodon, we get it for 249, we sell it for 286 at least, meaning we can make like 9 cent. Here is this item, Darkwood Witness. We can get it for 176 and we can sell it for 214. That makes us about 10 cent. I could go on like this forever, but if you want to see more from this area, go watch my other 40 minute long video if you want to see that. Uh, but I'm gonna move on to the next method, which is finding random CSGO skins that you can flip. This one will prove to require more work than the previous method and the return is also much lower. So, so you can do this one only if you have enough money to actually do both the first method and the second method. I would say that if you don't have that much money, the second method is not gonna be good for you. So to show you that, I'm gonna sort by counter strike. In the advanced options, I'm gonna input start track and sort by price. And up here in the URL, I'm gonna scroll up to the end and where it says P1 at the end, I'm gonna put P120. And this way it takes me to about two euros. And I, j I can just open up these links a bunch and I can look at the prices. Actually, the first item that I opened, you can buy it for 237 and you can sell it for 275. That makes you like four cents. <laughs> it's not too bad, but it's something. Here's another one. You can get it for 231 and sell it for about 275, which will make you like 10 cents. There's a lot of items to be found since there are so many skins in CSGO. Um, but as I said, this one is not as profitable as the Dota skins. But if you want to see more about this, I actually have a video on this topic alone. I'm going to link that down below as well. And we move on to the next method, which we're going to do by sorting by CSGO and typing in sticker. Because we are going to monopolize some stickers. I'm going to sort by price and up here I'm going to go to page 18. And we're going to search for stickers that are not from the Shattered Web collection and that are not signatures. For example, like this. And basically scroll through all the pages and look at all the stickers. You, you get the idea. So here is a good example. You can get this item for 20 euro cent and you can sell it for 24 euro cent. 
meaning that you can make one cent but you basically put a hundred orders in and you forget about it and just every time you buy one item you sell it immediately for 24 and you wait until it sells it's not gonna sell immediately but if done in big quantities you can make about two or three dollars per week so that's that's kind of it the idea behind this video was to show you an easy and quick way to flip the items which was the first method and then show you some other methods that you can incorporate later as as you've earned a little bit more in your steam wallet and if you want to pursue this if you're doing this only to buy another game then you should do the Dota items method. I think that's the fastest and most efficient way to do it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then please subscribe, smash the like button, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.